Welcome to the 2024 games list video and in this video we're going to be covering every game that is meant to be coming out this year of 2024. Now before we get into the video I do quickly want to thank you guys again for reaching the like goal in under 24 hours that means a lot thank you for the support and love and also again in this video we are not going to be covering the games that were mentioned in the Roblox anime games of 2024 video. That video was posted two or three days ago and you can click the link in the eye icon in the top right hand corner of the screen or in the description to watch that video if you haven't seen it quick summary the games we are not going to be mentioned in this video are paradox venture row fighters jujutsu infinite pocket anime holy war x and rail c's and the reason we're not covering those games is because we already talked about them and we already know that all seven of those games are confirmed to release this year so you could just add that onto the list in your head or something and just so that we're all on the same page in today's video we're going to be separating confirmed games coming out in 2024 and then separating the other games into rumored to release in 2020 so rumored just means that they don't have a confirmed release date or maybe the developers are a little bit inactive and in letting the community know on what's going on but it is speculated to come out in 2024 and then obviously confirmed our games are confirmed to be coming out this year just so that nobody's confused now that we're all on the same page let's get straight into the list starting off with all the confirmed games we're kicking things off with countless worlds now countless worlds is an action-packed open world mmorpg game inspired by critical adventure in this game you're gonna need to explore different lands defeat fearsome foes and obtain tons of rare loot gather resources and uncover secrets around the world now from what i've seen of countless worlds it doesn't look like it's anything crazy in terms of like combat functionalities however the game actually looks like it has fun mechanic there was a clip where one of the players used a cog in order to destroy a boulder and you unlocked like a secret path that way some of the boss fights look really engaging there's going to be a bunch of different areas in the game from underwater caverns to at dark airy areas there's gonna be a lot of content in the game from at least the, what the sneaks look like and it looks like the gameplay is going to be somewhat enjoyable the ai looks pretty intelligent etc so as the name of the game suggests countless worlds there's gonna be a bunch of areas to explore and play through and it looks like a well-made rpg game and i'm not gonna lie to you it piqued my interest so obviously countless worlds is a game that is confirmed to be coming out this year apparently it's going through its testing phase right now so i don't know if you want to keep updated on that links for everything will be in the description next up in confirmed we have dragon ball z final stand remastered now i wasn't the biggest final stand fan but there are a bunch of people that are and apparently the old final stand is being remastered now i don't know what they mean by remastered are they just gonna add more content to it or are they revamping the whole game making it look modernized combat gameplay mechanics etc again i'm not 100 percent too sure however snake well was on twitter responding to people's comments and he did actually say 2024 along with other developers that were responding to other people's questions shout out to ultra hands because i got these screenshots from him dragon ball z final stand remastered is confirmed to be coming out 2024 so for everyone that loved final stand this is actually kind of big news to you guys and obviously i'm going to be trying the game out for myself when it comes back out it will be nice to see a dragon ball z game on the platform because we don't get those anymore next up we have grand clover in the confirmed game list now grand clover will be coming out in 2024 and grand clover is obviously a black clover inspired rpg game but they're really trying to make this play like an mmorpg from some of the uis that i've seen and even to some of the screenshots of bosses the way you're interacting with them feels like a proper mmorpg however one thing i noticed from some of the sneaks or at least the pvp sneaks is that this game has parrying but it also is a true stun combat game true stun combat with parrying is a little bit 
weird to me and i've noticed in games that implement features like this makes it kind of makes the combat feel janky unpolished just not really smooth however apart from that the boss fights look really clean and it looks like they're going for a more pve central game rather than a pvp focused game it is nice to have a mix between the two but the game does look nice again for me the pvp looks a bit shaky i'm a little bit wary about it but we can't know until we actually try the game out next on the confirmed list we have tales of tenario and this game actually comes out next month the 17th of february to be exact that is a confirmed date for this game tells a scenario if you're not already knowing is a pokemon inspired roblox game what more do i need to say it's a pokemon roblox game and they have their own original pokemon with their own unique storyline the game looks really interesting and i actually can't wait to get in and play this one and it's really close so if tales of tenario wasn't on your radar it should be now beyond then now beyond then is a hunter x hunter inspired game now we haven't actually seen too much we know what the combat looks like we know what some of the abilities are going to look like but we haven't seen progression we haven't seen gameplay outside of pvp now we never really get hunter x hunter games on the platform mainly because they're actually kind of hard to create the nen system with all the different nen abilities is actually hard to get right especially on the roblox platform even in general because there isn't any good hunter x hunter games outside of roblox either but beyond nen looks really interesting and i know the development team have been working hard at the game so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of the game as time goes by however the owner has said 2024 is the year for beyond then next up we have shonen unleashed now shonen unleashed is meant to come out 2024 and it is a anime battle arena type game now i know a lot of you guys are tired of seeing anime battle arena games but shonen unleashed has some really fun and interesting mechanic and i'm not gonna lie there's clashing in this game i can't wait to actually disband this feature for no reason other than it being cool as hell showing unleashed does have character reveal trailers on their youtube channel so if you want to get to know the roster that is the best place to go and they're consistently adding new characters to the game and taking direct inspirations from games like fighter z and the naruto storm series so shonen unleashed does look super interesting and i can't wait to actually get to play it masho academy now this game is obviously inspired by the Manchu anime series that premiered last year i'm pretty sure and if you don't already know it is a magic power based game now this game actually already has a roadmap set out and sometime in 2024 this game will come out free to play for everybody but i'm pretty sure this game is going to be paid access during the early stages of 2024 as the game is still going to be going through content expansions and getting ready for the real release and once the game actually releases it's going to be free to play for everybody sometime later on in 2024 obviously it's an rpg game but you're going to be using stuff like magic wands magic based abilities and if you want you don't even need to use magic you can use fist and different swords so this game is going to have a different play style depending on the type of player you want to be the match rules are definitely an interesting game that's coming out this year so i think everyone should check this one out and the last confirmed release for this year is eternal battleground now eternal battlegrounds is a game that's being made by the owner of yba and interestingly enough this game is the reason why YBA's update was really trash. But from what I've seen of Eternal Battlegrounds, it has a really good concept, really good idea. The characters look really interesting and they have hype characters being introduced to the game that we haven't seen before. I mean, for crying out loud, Makima is going to be in the game and that is genuinely interesting. I can't wait to try her out. But one thing I noticed about the game, at least from the gameplay I've seen, the parrying system is a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. Some games really don't need to add parrying into their game. It's not by force. But other than that, the, the PvP actually looks interesting. Each character plays and feels different from what I've seen at least. And it looks like it's gonna be a really interesting game. I can't wait for this game to actually come out to try it for myself. And yeah, that's it for the confirmed game. Moving on to games that are rumored to come out in 2024. And first, we have Device of Creation. Now, Device of Creation is an MMORPG styled game that takes inspirations from games like New World on Amazon and just other MMORPGs. 
abilities to create a lifelike world where you can use stuff like mounts and multiple classes at the same time. And I've covered this game multiple times throughout the year or throughout last year. And this game genuinely looked good. It looked special to me. I wanted to try this game out. Now, the main game, Devils of Creation, is still in development, but the dev team decided to make a Battlegrounds game. And I'm I'm not really feeling it too much. I'm not too sure where Devils of Creation stands as of right now because they haven't really been too transparent on the RPG game, but they've been updating and adding content to the battlegrounds game i guess so i mean that's that I, uh, I don't know what to say about the battleground stuff let's move on next we have a solo leveling game called monarch now everybody was sending me clips of this game and the clips everybody was sending is of the solo leveling main character i've never read the manga don't judge me having some sort of black aura around him on a loading screen for some reason this hyped everybody up i mean it's 2024 and i would expect a little bit more charisma from the roblox anime community and knowing a, a image of, of someone standing still shouldn't get you that excited nevertheless here we are apparently there's some drama going on in the development team and blah 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 and that might end up causing some delays so this game was meant to come out 2024 but with all the drama going on within the dev team i don't really know this game wasn't that anything crazy anyway moving on next we have emblem tales now emblem tales should should be coming out this year they did end up going on discord and explaining how they want the development process to go i'm pretty sure we're at phase one and phase two is going to be testing and they're going to start showing off some new sneaks and i know over the past year year and a half two years whenever they went into hiatus they've been working on the game heavy now swift hasn't actually said the game is going to come out in 2024 but if you look at the roadmap a lot of these things look like they're going to be pushed forward soon so i'm assuming sometime by the end of the year Year, we actually might be seeing emblem tales hit the roblox platform i know it's been a while i know the development team has been very quiet and we've only gotten one sneak in the past like year and a half but you know what one sneak is better than absolutely nothing next up we have anime switch now anime switch is a multiplayer 2.5d game that features a variety of different anime characters from different action-packed shows and you're going to be using these characters in order to dominate enemies in pve as well as that you're going to be able to use them in a pvp scenario against other players too and you can create and customize personal builds with each of these characters now the trailer for this game did release recently and i have covered this game in the past but i'm not too sure what happened after the trailer released i feel like the development team got a change of heart i don't know if it was negative feedback or the developers are just perfectionists but they kind of backtrack and i kind of mean this in a good way now they went back and decided they kind of want to do a little revamp of the game so the things you're seeing in the trailer aren't even how the game looks right now maybe some of the issues of this is because of the whole game fam dmca stuff but they went back and they're changing a lot of the gameplay mechanics even the way the game is played through the top down views getting changed a little bit and the characters models effects and sound effects are all getting a little revamp which i respect they want to go back and make their game even better than it was before so this game was meant to come out earlier this year but it might get pushed back to later this year and i'm not against games getting pushed back to genuinely improve what they already had so anime switch might end up coming out better than it already was keep your eye out for that next up we have anime clash now anime clash is a plant versus zombie type game but your units move question mark i'm a, i have no idea what that means i just read that off of their discord server i don't know too much about anime clash i've seen sneaks here and there but most of the sneaks have been cutscenes or base plate type of animation moves ability sneak so i'm not 100 percent sure what this game is aiming to be what the gameplay is like etc but apparently the game is aiming to come out for january now the reason why this is on rumored to release in 2024 is because i've had nothing that actually confirms the game's progress again all the sneaks i've seen have been base play i don't really want to say it's confirmed because there's literally just been it's just not believable that it's coming out in january 
January. I'm so sorry. However, this game does look interesting. There's so much hype behind this game. I'm not too sure why, but the game does plan on coming out this year, apparently so, and the game will be coming out on every platform. So keep your eyes out for that. Next up, we have Clover RPG. Now, Clover RPG, we have covered it before, back when it was in testing and just in general. If you don't know, Clover RPG is a Black Clover inspired game, but the game plays more like a RPG, an MMORPG rather than Black Clover. Honestly, if you could compare this game to anything, it would be Deep Woken, but with Grimoires? Yeah, that's the best way to compare the game. But when I did play, it was genuinely interesting back then, and this was a couple of months ago. The game didn't have too much content, but the game has been vastly improved since then. There's been testing periods that I've missed, but apparently the game has added a bunch more features and the game is aiming to come out sometime in 2024. So we're going to have to wait and see. Now, the next game up is Nindo. If you remember Nindo, I have covered it twice on the channel. This game is made by a content creator, Ghost in the Cosmos, and him and his development team have been cooking. Since the last time we've seen some sneaks, they've improved a lot in terms of the combat and just gameplay in general. This game is meant to come out sometime in 2024, although there is no confirmed release date. As long as the developers keep cooking and improving on what's already there, I have no doubt that this is going to be an enjoyable Naruto game because we just never get Naruto games on this platform. So you guys keep your eyes out for Nindo. Next we have World Seed. Now all of the World Seed sneaks I could show you guys is very very outdated. World Seed, the development team are deciding to really stay underneath the covers. They don't want to show any sneaks, they don't want to show any updated gameplay mechanics and features, but I'm here to tell you guys they are cooking. Now they did say they want to get a 2024 release, which is why it's being featured here, and sometime during late 2023, testers did get to test out the new version of the game. So yes, the developers are working, but they're working behind the scenes and staying super quiet about everything. All I can tell you guys is Wild Seed is gonna come out this year and it looks pretty interesting so keep your eyes out for that oh if i didn't say world seed is based off of sword art online there you go next game next up we have yaga i can't pronounce it there's an rpg game that actually looks really nice i'm pretty sure it takes some inspirations from deep Woken, but it plays completely different the progression the mobs and some of the gameplay again completely different you're able to do cool stuff like become a beast tamer use your animals that you tame in order to fight other animals animals and help you progress through the game there are cool interesting bosses and there's a lot of different features in this game that are just really interesting i'm not gonna lie to you this is a game that's meant to come out in 2024 hopefully it does and this is something i know i can sink my time into next we have magoi now there's really nothing much about this game that's even being said shown or anything all we know is that this game may come out 2024 or should come out 2024 as of right now all we have is some sort of gameplay sneak or trailer sneak where they're literally just walking around and stuff of that nature literally there's there's nothing to show but the fact that it's a maggie inspired game is really interesting so hopefully we get some cool new gameplay sneaks soon and the devs start being a little bit more transparent next we have abaddon now if you remember abaddon it really took everybody by surprise it was first showcased on sly kage stream where him agamatsu and teki acted as judges or game Game sharks that were going around seeing whatever games wanted to get sponsored and that is where abaddon first made its appearance the game looked stunning beautiful and i'm not gonna lie to you everybody was impressed especially because all the games previous to that were actually kind of mid so nobody was expecting anything crazy now abaddon is meant to come out sometime in 2024 and it is based off greek mythology and things of that nature honestly i'm not going into detail about it but it looks good and i can't wait to play it next on rumored to come out in 2024 is a very interesting game wisteria reborn slash mugen now the way they describe the revamp of wisteria 2 is that it's going to be renamed into wisteria reborn and that they're going to be taking elements from a game that was meant to come out called mugen and implementing it into this game not everything but just some of the gameplay features and mechanics they're going to be adding a bunch of new stuff they're going to revamp a lot of things and they're going to polish a lot of things that was wrong in Resteria 2 so i'm pretty sure the game is going to look different and it's going to play and feel differently hopefully the game releases with some blood demon artists but i'm not going to lie i'm looking forward 
forward to seeing what they end up doing with Wisteria Reborn and to see if they've learned from their mistake. Blade Art Online. Now, Blade Art Online is a Sword Art Online inspired game and I'm not gonna lie to you, the sneaks have slowed down with this game. Last year, there was a lot of sneaks being showed off and last year, there was even testing, multiple testing sessions for the game where I actually got to play and I just ended up not liking the combat system at all. However, apparently since the last time I played, they've revamped a lot of the game that including the combat system so hopefully that is better there was a little bit of internal drama with the game developers where some of the developers left the team but i'm pretty sure they're getting replaced but as a result they're gonna slow down showing some sneaks and they're gonna keep us a little bit vaguely updated on what's going on but the game is still actively being worked on so that is good news this game is meant to come out 2024 but again you really never know and the fact that we don't have any good sword art online games on the platform i'm genuinely looking forward to trying this game out whenever it does come out next on the list is yahiba now yahiba is is a demon slayer inspired game and it has a really good base combat mechanic in fact it has great combat mechanic for demons and slayers alike which is really interesting and this is a first time thing because all the demon slayer games on roblox no offense and i mean every single one of them have terrible combat systems so this is a step in the right direction now the owners or one of the owners of this game is the owner for anime showdown so anime showdowns actively getting worked on <laughs> which means unfortunately yahiba's progress isn't going as fast as the whole world would hope it would be because anime showdown is literally just a big brick wall in the way that needs to get tumbled down as soon as possible however whenever that wall gets tumbled yahiba should be getting developed at a more frequent and rapid pace unfortunately we don't know if it's coming out 2024 but i'm pretty sure the other developers are actively working on it just not as fast as they could be because of Adam Showdown. Yahiba could be one of the good games to come out this year if it ever does come out. But since we don't get frequent sneaks or updates on this game, we don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. Jump Warrior Z. Now, Jump Warrior Z is a very interesting game. You're going to be taking your character that you've customized, give it a specific unique type, whether that's attack, defense, support, or range. And you're going to be customizing that character and giving it different abilities from different animes, mixing and matching, customizing your character however you deem worthy, and using that character within PvP and pve scenarios to progress that slot this game actually has a lot to offer and if you haven't seen my video on it you should probably check it out because i go in depth about it there other than that jump warrior z is going to be a good game and it should be coming out 2024 this game's release has been pushed back quite a little bit but it's because the developers are always improving on what's already in the game so i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see about this one bushido now even i'm not 100 percent sure about this game the developer do post sneaks every now and again so the game is definitely still in development however they're not really transparent on how the development process is going or whether or not the game's even going to come out but if it was going to come out i would assume it's this year honestly god knows sometimes it would be nicer if developers were transparent with the community about what's going on with their game especially when they've been waiting years for the game to come out. Bushido is a samurai RPG inspired game or a samurai RPG game. The combat looks nice. The graphics look beautiful too. We're just gonna have to wait and see what this game has in store for us. Now, I wasn't really sure if this game was even still in development, but the developer or the owner recently posted a sneak for it and it made me smile just a little bit. Now, it was a little bit annoying because I don't know when this game is coming out. It's been in development for a while and the development team aren't really too transparent on anything when it comes to this game but universe trigger is a world trigger inspired game and i'm not going to lie to you i like the combat i like the concept i love world trigger so if this game did end up coming out 2024 it would be great now world trigger isn't that popular of an anime it did have some buzz but i don't know who actively watches it it's not that talked about but if they made this into a game and successfully mastered the progression 
progression along with the combat this game could be crazy for the roblox platform definitely looking forward to universe trigger i still got my eyes on it and hopefully it does come out this year exoria world's end now exoria world's end is a rpg styled game and this game has been in development for a while now this game is currently in testing as well and it has had a massive revamp from the old version of the game the game plays much better now the game feels more rpg like and the combat is really satisfying it has a really interesting spell weaving mechanic where you need to actually type in inputs with different letters in order to cast different types of spells which i find really interesting but i'm never doing that anyways if there was ever a time for exoria to release i would say it's 2024 however i'm not really too sure because the development team hasn't really said anything about the release of the game next up we got the man the myth the legend anime legends now this game honestly at this point i think it's bait if i'm being quite honest i think this is a grand kaisen type of situation and yes to compare anime legends to grand kaisen is crazy now this game had the original trailer back in like 2021 over two years later we finally get the second trailer and in between that there was barely any news or anything no sneaks no news nothing and last year during may i'm pretty sure it was may of 2023 we got the second official gameplay teaser or trailer in fact and i'm not gonna lie i was really impressed yes it was a step down from the graphics and the animations and then the first trailer but it was something and it let us know that the game was still in development or at least we thought so and ever since that trailer came out we've gotten absolutely nothing no sneaks not even a little teaser not even a picture block zone is like i don't know if they're con artists or they're just trolling after we got the second teaser or trailer for anime legends they put out a trailer for anime simulator x which actually released to the public i mean it got taken down by game fam but that game actually came out and in between all of the anime legend sneaks and trailers they've had at least three games come out to the public all of them completely failing but they had anime warriors they had anime simulator x and they had another anime game i forgot what it was called that's how insignificant it was block zone is literally trolling i don't know if they're trolling the con artists or they're scammers at this point there is really no excuse for the poor management the poor marketing and just the poor decision making that this studio is always making you can't make the same mistake twice and they've managed to do that i kid you not it will be may of 2024 and we would have still had no information on anime legends releasing or what the development process is looking like etc you talk to any blog zone employee they just say yeah we're working i'm not gonna lie to you them boys are bots what is going on with this game blog zone this is absolutely atrocious you guys do not know how to run a studio i am so sorry how can you put out a trailer for one of the most hyped games ever and not follow up in any way shape or form not even a single sneak whose choice is that what is actually going on here <laughs> am i the only one confused this is worse than a myth this is a scam since the initial trailer blog zone has actually had three different games that have released that have not been anime legends like what's going what is that next on the rumor to release list is tower bound now we've covered tower bound so many times at this point and tower bound was initially discovered by sly kage at least that's how i learned about it tower bound is inspired by tower of god if you've watched that anime if you haven't you need to season two is literally around the corner i digress i haven't actually played too much of tower bound and on tower bound's discord server there isn't even much information the devs are not transparent they work behind the scenes there have been recent sneaks for the game so we do know it's being worked on but this game's been worked on for almost two years now and there's been little transparency with anything if i did speculate when tower bound would release 2024 would be that year but again it's really hard to read roblox developers it gives celebrity status a lot of these guys so i don't know man tower bound should come out this year but shrug shoulders and last but not least we have golden piece adventures now golden piece adventures is obviously a one piece inspired game and this game was making rounds on the internet at one point of time when they first put out the kaido sneak people were saying this game looks just as good if not better than rail c's 
please ignore the fireworks in the background. However, the developer of Golden Piece is actually cooking. They're working behind the scenes. They haven't been showing off too much in-game sneaks, but they have been showing models and different animations for the game. But we do know this game is coming out 2024. We're just going to have to wait and see what they have in store for us. And that is it when it comes to the 2024 Roblox games list. Now, that is a lot of games. I think overall, if you count the games that weren't mentioned in this video, that's over 30 games that have the potential of coming out this year and confirmed that's at least 10 to 12 games 100% coming out this year. Again, games may come out of nowhere and just end up surprising us. So we know we've seen games come out like that before in the past. So we need to keep our eyes out. 2024 is the era of Roblox games and I'm genuinely looking forward to delving into this. Hopefully developers actually don't just delay everything. But that's it from me. If you made it to the end of the video, let me know. Say made it to the end or something that lets me know you watched the whole thing through. I genuinely appreciate it. And hit that like button too. Let's try to get like a 2000 likes. Maybe I'm stretching that. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. I love and appreciate every single one of y'all. Peace.